<laughs> so guys, I want to speak about an interesting topic tonight uh, Slightly different from what I normally talk about I, I feel this is a topic that's quite relevant <clears throat> To most people um, Who are traders <laughs> Who are traders <clears throat> The art of mastering your destiny blueprint uh, that's 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 what I want to talk about. That's what I want to talk about. This is this is a topic that was inspired by <clears throat> a conversation I had with a brother of mine. I believe is on the live. I saw him join in. Yeah, and <clears throat> this is something I really want to tackle because I believe that <clears throat> sometimes from the previous live I hosted, um, I spoke about I spoke about um, purpose. And the reason why people uh, actually do not win in their lives is probably because we mistaken purpose for um, for events that happen in our lives. Sometimes purposeful events that happen in our lives, we miss them simply because what is happening purposefully is not what we probably um, want to see happen in our lives and want to see manifest in our lives and once we get to a point where we understand purpose then it's easy for us to understand events and occasions that happen in our lives this is basically a topic that's meant to inspire that's meant to fuel that's meant to even help you progress and advance in your life as a trader as an entrepreneur as um, a hustler as someone who is um you know on their journey and on their way to success that this is something that we probably don't even know so i titled my life tonight the art of mastering your destiny blueprint and the logic and the theory behind this is that everyone has their own destiny everyone has their own purpose which is difficult to find for one and the reason why it's difficult to find purpose is because there's so many noise in our lives so many comparisons in our lives and a whole lot of um a whole lot of um what can i say like procrastination in our lives to basically uh be able to find purpose so purpose should be easy purpose was meant to be easy to discover because this is what you were born for but because of the time and the season that we're living in it becomes difficult for us to know what it is that we were born for and what it is that we were born to do mainly because we are living in a difficult time where we envy so much where we convert so much where we see other people doing well and we look at where they are and we kind of put ourselves under pressure to be at the exact same place to only find out that that's not the place we were designed to be in and that really becomes difficult to uh basically find and trace your own purpose i mean we we live in a time where our peers are driving better cars than the cars we are driving they are making far more better figures than we are making they're living in far more better spaces than the ones we're living in and that becomes the whole pressure that pushes us to the edge of not being able to understand what it is that we are personally designed to do i will make an example sometimes you grow up with your peers uh, your peers go to school and they study specific uh, subjects and you are also pressured to go into the science stream because obviously um, your friends are also in the science stream to only find out that you are not created for that and you only see this with time because time is able to unfold and unveil everything so with time all things get exposed with time all things get unveiled with times or with time all things get um exposed so you see this with time that actually what i've been doing for most of my life is not what i was born to do and i don't really feel like myself in the specific sphere and space but there is something that i've discovered even with um, life in general that even as you do stuff as you learn things as you go to different spaces and wrong spaces money was meant for everyone even though a lot of things were not meant for you and a lot of industries are, are, are basically not meant for you but money was made for everyone 
I will tell you this, that no human being in the world was created to be poor. I don't believe in the theory that um, there has to be a balance in the world. Uh, there has to be poor people so that the rich people can be richer than the poor. I don't believe in that. I mean, why, why would God create, you know, people that are meant to be poor and also create people that are meant to be rich? I mean, that's quite an imbalance in creation. When he created people, when God created people, he didn't create adam to be rich and eve to be poor both of them were in the same level both of them were in the same sphere and is and it is the results of people that actually then um you know that actually uh resulted in people being unequal and being in different spaces and different levels because mainly of the stuff that we do as humanity so the decisions that we take then ultimately put us in poor spaces i believe that poverty came by choice and by decision either of an ancestor in our bloodline or a decision that we personally take and i can prove this even with how uh things happen in today's age you'd find that someone had you know rich parents that don't necessarily have anyone before them you find that okay this is my mom and dad they are millionaires and these are the only people i know as fam as, as as relatives and as family and i don't know anyone out of my uh close family i don't know anyone out of my mom's circle out of my dad's circle i just know my mom and dad and that's it and they pass away with the millions they have and they leave you with the wealth in your hands it is it is it is it, it it is possible and really um it's it's possible it's not it's not it's not something that's out of the world that the the, the riches that your parents built can be wasted and the legacy no, can no, stop no. simply because you took the wrong decisions and the wrong choices even when you come from a rich bloodline so it's very possible that people um, become poor simply because of their choices and decisions in their life a wise man once said um, you do not decide where you are born but it is definitely up to you where you die like you can you can be born from a poor family but if you die poor that's not your family's fault but that's your fault you see what i'm saying so it's possible that you can be born in a rich family and still die poor and it's possible that you can be born in a poor family and still die rich and the only thing that you have to do is to master the art of your destiny is to master the blueprint of your destiny you really need to know how to basically trace um specific events in your life how to basically be in charge of certain events in your life so that your destiny is rescued and also protected by the decision you take in your life and that's what i want to talk about today that the choices we make have a lot to do with how our lives turn out i had a conversation with my mentees the other day and uh they were asking me that how do you get to a point where you are used to trading uh specific hours where you you are you are you are a bit um you are you are a level ahead from the level we have you are a step ahead from the step we're in basically um from the work ethic and stuff like how do you get to a point where your work ethic is better than the other person's work ethic when you guys have the same hours you guys have the same charts you guys have the same um account balance you guys have the same everything initially with the resources being the same how do you get to a point where you are better than the other people it's basically because of the choices you make the choices you make can determine what kind of a person you become it is all in the choices we make it is all in the thoughts that we have it is all in the stuff that we indulge in that our lives turn out to be in a specific way and that's something that i want to talk about and the first lesson that i want to give you um tonight i'll be hosting these quite frequent time and again but the first one that i want to i want to give you tonight in 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 quest of mastering your blueprint in um aspirations of mastering the art of your blueprint for your own life's destiny is the art of being in control of your mind that's one thing you must know that there's individuals who are controlled by their minds and individuals who control their minds and this there's a huge um difference between the two however there's a thin line between the two as well to say that if you are in control of your mind you are very different from a person who is controlled by their minds but it 
all looks the same like it kind of looks the same it's like people will think you guys are the same but in reality you are practically not the same because the other person is controlled by what their mind wants them to do and the other person controls their minds what they want to do you are not your mind and i don't know if you i don't know if you if that makes sense but for people who are woke people who are enlightened people who are people who, who are hearing me you are hearing me because you know this that you are not your mind you are not your mind and your mind is a part of you but you are practically not your mind the same way you are not your face is the same way you are not your mind the same way you are not your hands is the same way you are not your hands you, you are not your mind you know so you need to understand that parts and elements that make up your being are not necessarily you but who you are is inside of you and that is who you need to unleash onto the world for the people to actually benefit from who you really are and people don't really understand this because then we allow events and occasions that happen and occur in life to determine who we are people would become who they are practically because they've experienced specific events in their lives and as a result their lives are then formed and shaped to be who they are based on the events that have actually undergone in life like you've been traumatized and so you are now a traumatic individual why do you have to be a traumatic individual even when you were traumatized the trauma doesn't define who you are and the events that happen in your life do not define who you are where you are at this moment is not who you are it is you passing and it is a part of who you are it forms a part of who you are but that's not who you are and i'm speaking chinese to some people but i'll try and make it simple so there's something that we call tendencies there's something that we call proclivities there's something that we call um you know there's something that we call um it's a habit there's something we call habits and habits that we have in our lives form and shape who we become form and shape who we are and as a result these habits then build up who we practically become on a daily basis what i mean by this is that you wake up from the same the same side of the bed the same side of the bed every single day you wake up from the same side of the bed you do the same thing every day if you are a person that wakes up from the right hand side of the bed you will you will wake up from the same side of the bed on a daily from there you go and you brush your teeth like myself i've got an end suit in my house i wake up from the bed i go to the end suit i go brush my teeth and I, like it's a it's a pattern that happens on a daily and as you do these things on a daily basis your mind builds patterns in your in in your life like it builds patterns it builds um it builds like a comfort zone it builds a comfort spot for you to actually now live your life in that very way and you then you then become a part of the patterns that your mind builds up on a daily and the minute you start waking up on a different side of the bed then your mind gets uncomfortable your mind gets uneasy your mind um recognizes that there's um there's an unusual pattern that's happening within our habit and within our proclivity and within the cycle that we actually used to and then what happens to you is that you become uncomfortable and once you become uncomfortable your mind forces you to then hide and go back into the shell of doing things that you're used to i'm speaking um deep stuff here so uh, the routine that you, you 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 go through the routines you build in your life then ultimately build up a specific sequence that happens in your life which is going to be your comfort zone as an individual which becomes a comfortable spot for you so it's like if you do these things on a daily they become a part of you and you mistaken the routine that happens on a daily for who you are and the routines you do on the daily are not necessarily you and that's your mind now taking charge of your life that's your mind saying this is how the body is supposed to be reacting this is how my life is supposed to be going i'm supposed to be doing these things on a daily i'm supposed to be waking up from the same side of the bed i'm supposed to be doing the same thing every morning and the minute i do anything that is outside the comfort of my brain my brain panics because this is something that is not a routine and once it panics then it goes back and hides into the shell of um of 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 its routine it goes back and hides into the shell 
of the things that it's used to doing so when you repeat certain things which is why they say it takes about um 16 days to build up a habit so if you do this for 16 days your body adapts and your mind gets used to the fact that this is the new normal to your body and the minute you do something that is out of the new normal then your mind basically starts panicking and that's where most people actually fail in their aspirations and in their dreams to say that you're used to only pushing for a specific amount of time and hours and the minute you push yourself out of the routine your mind goes back and hides onto the normal stuff that you're used to doing i don't know if this makes sense does it make sense so it's like it's like if you if if, if you're used to if you're used to trading and when you're trading you keep on blowing accounts and once you blow accounts 21 days sorry once you once you blow accounts and then um you 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 give up every single time you blow accounts you just move away from your chart you just do this and this and that or whenever you're analyzing you can only get to a specific threshold your mind adapts to these things in the period of 21 days that you're actually doing that for and in the 21 days you're doing that your mind builds up a pattern and a sequence your mind builds up habits your mind builds up a routine that this is how you're supposed to be doing things this is how you're supposed to be trading this is how you're supposed to be living your life this is how your trading is supposed to be this is how your trading is supposed to be going and your mind then ultimately takes charge of your dreams and your life and that's not who you are that, that the reality of the matter is that that's not who you are that is your mind dictating how your life is supposed to be and this is why people end up blowing a whole lot of accounts because they adapt to what the mind builds up and they adapt to what the mind sees as the new normal and once you break out of the normal then your mind panics a bit and goes back to hide into your new norm into your normal state and hides into your um proclivities hides into your tendencies and this thing happens quite a lot because then people don't realize this that you are not your mind your mind is supposed to be controlled by you you are not supposed to be controlled by your mind and the repetitious cycles and tendencies that we have in our lives eventually and ultimately build up into who we become so who we become is not entirely who we are meant to be there's a there's a thin line between who you're meant to be and who you become you can become whatever you're becoming simply because life events formed and shaped you into being who you are your mind adapted to specific events and eventually directed you to a specific direction and so you become that which your mind wants you to be and people never really become who they are supposed to be because then their minds have actually dictated who they are supposed to be meaning that now you have got to then force your mind to see things from your perspective and once your mind sees things from your perspective then you start doing things according to how you want your mind to behave until your mind gets uncomfortable and once your mind is at the uncomfortable state then you make the uncomfortable your new comfortable you will never ever grow and expand if your mind never gets to a point where it's uncomfortable from its normal behaviors from its normal cycles from its normal um, proclivities and tendencies from its normal uh, patterns until your mind gets uncomfortable in those you will not grow remember that even when you work out if in, even if you want to grow muscles you want to gain you want to lift weights you can never grow unless you tear the the tearing of your muscles don't necessarily mean that you are breaking down but the tearing of your muscles basically means that you are growing something that your body doesn't know so our minds ultimately have to be uncomfortable with us working so hard until working so hard actually becomes our new comfort zone i don't know if i'm if i'm making sense i don't know if i'm making sense so the things that you are not used to doing the things that are uncomfortable to you are supposed to now be as uncomfortable enough until the uncomfort zone of your patterns becomes your new comfort zone and the new comfort zone is then going to yield results that you as an individual aspire and take you where you are supposed to go as a person that's what i want to talk about so that you need to master you need, you need to get to a point where you fully understand the art of mastering your destiny blueprint to say that a part of 
where I'm supposed to be has a whole lot to do with how I deal with my mind. A lot of times the problem is not on the actual results, but the problem is actually in our minds. We need to get to a point where we understand that we are not what we think and we are not the events that happen around us but what we think and the events that happen around us must all be dictated by who we are and what we want to happen in our lives once we get to that point i think and i believe that we will basically be at a point where we are unstoppable where we are able to break barriers where we are able to break um, through all things that are in front of us that are ahead of us that are before us because we know that we are not what our brains tell us that we are it even gets to a point where not even hurt can stop you not even disappointment can stop you not even um, discouragement can stop you because you understand that the emotions that come to you are not who you are emotions are a they form a part of who you are but they are not who you are and once you get to that point you are unstoppable that's when you'll be you'll be commanding things and things will begin to happen because you fully understand who you are that's when you'll be speaking things and things come into existence because you fully understand who you are and that's the point where every single one of you that's watching this live right now must understand that you must start doing things that are out of your patterns start doing things that are out of your normal until the abnormal becomes the new normal if you are not used to working hard you must start working hard until you actually get to a point where you are at the top above your brain above your mind above your feelings above your emotions the things that you feel must not really dictate where you are supposed to be but you dictate where you're supposed to be regardless of how your body is feeling so you must be able to basically have control over yourself and fully understand that your mind doesn't have to control you sometimes you'll have to push even when you're tired because the emotions of being tired are not who you are and they are basically not you you will have to push even when you feel discouraged because you understand that discouragement doesn't really mean that's you but you have to push beyond discouragement you have to push beyond disappointment you have to push beyond failure you have to push beyond everything because you fully understand that you are now in charge of your life and that's the first thing that i want to talk about to say that do understand that events that happen in your life are not who you are and who you are is really determined by the decision you take just at that moment when you feel at your lowest just at that moment when you feel like you're not gonna push further just at that moment when you feel like giving up that's the point where you must fully manifest who you are and once you manifest who you are you really become unstoppable I feel I just gave a whole course on psychology there. I just gave a whole talk on psychology. And this these are things, these are things that we never really talk about. Even with work, like it must get to a point where you go beyond your threshold frequency. Like stuff that actually make you uncomfortable must actually now be your new comfort zone. So the new comfort zone is actually discomfort. If I may say that discomfort must become the new comfort zone you must push yourself to the edge there is nothing as difficult as as building building is never easy was never easy will never be easy once you build once you are trying to build it is not easy it will never ever be easy if you build you are expected to get tired but the fact that you're tired doesn't necessarily discredit the fact that there's a blueprint you have for your life that is supposed to basically push you to a specific area a specific realm a specific dimension and the fact that you've got a blueprint that helps you kind of push even beyond your emotions even beyond your feelings at the time even when you're uncomfortable you keep pushing because you understand that there's a grand master plan that you're following and you are in charge of it that's the beauty of being in charge of yourself that everything that happens will not dictate how your life turns out but you dictate how your life turns out simply because you've got the blueprint and the master plan for your life that's the first thing i want to bring to you today to say that master your blueprint master your life master everything that pertains your life um last year i think um 
I was speaking about a life of design over a life of default and I said that it is possible to get to a point where not even a single event that happens in your life happens by default and the only thing that can happen by default is death in your life. Everything else that is within the boundaries and parameters of life will not come to you by default. You'll not be shook by the results that happen in your life. You'll not be shook by everything that happens in your life because you understand that everything is properly planned and structured. Everything is properly planned and structured. I don't believe that life happens, eh? I don't believe that life happens. I, I do not believe it. I don't believe it. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from experience. Trust me. You must understand that you have to be in control over your life. And once you are in control over your life, nothing can stop you. No one can stop you. Comparison cannot stop you. Um, delay cannot stop you because sometimes we mistaken delay, delay for denial. But if you understand that it's not denial, it's just delay. And you've got a plan on how to get to your destination. You will keep on going even when you feel discouraged, even when you feel demotivated, even when you feel um, there's a lot happening, even when you feel there's too much going on in your life. You'll keep on pushing because you understand that at the end of the day, I have control over my life. And that's the beauty of life. That's the beauty of life. That's the beauty of creation. That we were given choice to be in control of our lives. God gave us the right to be in control over our lives he gave us the blueprint to our lives he gave us the right to be in control of our lives not to completely waste our lives but to completely build it for the better and that's what i want to talk about with you today let's read comments let's see what people are saying let's see if i'm speaking sense let's see if i'm helping anyone if you're here and you're being helped and you're being inspired and you're being touched drop a comment there let's see drop a comment there let's see what happened to my drink? I finished it. <clears throat> the mind is the enemy. You have to control it and create create things you want from your mind, thinking positively. 100%. 100%. You are fully in control of your thoughts, fully in control of everything, everything that happens in your life. If you begin to think in the right kind of way, I believe your life can really change for the better. If you begin to think in the right line, I believe so much. I'm a firm believer of um, of uh, believing before you achieve. So if you really think right, you are going to live right and you are going to act right and you will get right. You will get right. Think right, act right and get right. That's my theory. Think right. Act right and you will get right. That's all it's about. You can't you can't think right. You can't think wrong, live right and get right. And you can't think right, live wrong and get right. You can't think right, live right and get wrong. It's it doesn't make sense. If you think wrong, you will live wrong and you will get wrong. If you think right, you will live right and you will get right. That's all it's about. You will manifest the right things if you think right. You will live the right kind of way if you think right. So it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. And you have to control your mind ultimately and tell your mind that this is what I'm commanding you to think. And once you think right, then you will actually begin to see your life turning out right because you are basically in control over your lives. This is the power and the beauty that God has given to each one of us. We have it in us to think right. We have it in us to have control over our lives. We have it in us to basically decide how our lives turn out. We don't have any, any, anything to do with where we were born. Some of us were born in the most nastiest ways, in the most hurtful ways, in the most you know awkward spaces in the most irrelevant spaces but how we turn out is basically up to us i've seen people's lives change i've seen people's lives advance i've seen people's lives growing basically because of the decisions they've taken and the choices they've made in their lives so as a man thinker in his heart so is he i see you with Melo banks i think that's a beautiful beautiful comment there 
As the greatest president of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Man, beautiful words, beautiful words, beautiful words. Having a mentor like you in this industry is a blessing, bro. I gained a lot from you today. Salute. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Daily affirmations, 100%. Understand God's purpose and nothing will phase you. Bro, 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 bro. Which books are trading psychology would you say contributed the most? I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a reading type, me. <laughs> you won't find me reading a book. You're on a random Saturday. I'm joking, guys. You guys can look up proper books on the on the internet, and you know as as much as you need. But I'm not a reading type. The only book I've read in my life is the Holy Bible. <laughs> I'm being honest, See, I'm lying, I'm being honest, man. I'm being honest. It's the best book you'll ever read. The best one. You just said heavy stuff. Which got me inspired, away. Everyone has a will to think. Everyone. Your mindset can make or break you. A hundred percent. I mean, depression is birthed by how we think. Also, happiness is also given birth by how we think. So, how you think ultimately becomes the most important part of your life. The biggest aspect of your life. If you think bad, you'll live bad. If you think right, you'll live right. That's, that's what it's all about. The decisions you make in your life determine who you are and who you will ultimately become i don't believe that life events happen no we make events happen to us the only event that will happen to us is death that's the only event that we cannot stop that's the only event we haven't been given power to control that's the only event that's the only event death is the only thing anything that happens between your birth and your death is basically up to you man it's up to you Discipline over motivation. It's not every day where you'll feel motivated, but if you're disciplined, best believe it will always pull through, pull you through to work on days, even when you don't feel like working. I love it, man. I love it. Promise you, I love it. It's all about dedication, determination, discipline, and respect. A hundred percent. You have to stretch your mind. I love the word stretch. You see that word? It's not for small boys, that one. You'll have to stretch your mind to a point where it won't go back to its normal state by more positive things your mind attracts what you believe in a hundred percent stretch your mind to adapt to the uncomfortable state until the uncomfortable state becomes your new comfort zone that's how we're living now if you ask me and you if you ask me it's not it's not nice sleeping at four in the morning on a daily is abnormal bro like but it, it's gone to a point where it's normal look look at the time it's like 12 i'm not even sleepy there was a point in my life where i couldn't stay up till 12 and that was normal and i started sleeping i started staying up past 12 and that was uncomfortable until that comfortable state became my new comfortable state and i'm living in the uncomfortable state which has now become the new comfortable which has now become the new normal so you must understand these things i've just shifted my paradigm right now my mind has been consumed with comparison and fear now i'm confident to get out of there and make it 100 percent um 100 percent how do you overcome this we'll speak about that some other time some other time some other time i'm definitely going to change my mindset when trading i usually make the same mistakes after one loss 100 power of the mind lola you know Journaling is always. What's the importance of trading? We'll speak about that. Today we're not speaking about that. If I may ask, do you think stimul stimulus will be passed? What stimulus, dog? Stimulus is something that stimulates. But like, no, how would you? Think about COVID stimulus. Like, so maybe. Most good with stimulus is talking about because. Which one? Thinking is the mother of any action we do. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. You should write a book. There is actually a book that I've written. Not yet published. But yeah, there's a book that I've written. Um, it will be released with due time. So, yeah. 
Right mindset, doctor. Hey, the the right mindset. I'm telling you, bros. You can you you can you can you can chop arm. You can chop arm with the right kind of mindset. I'm telling you. From the USA, keep shedding light on paradigm shifts. You are dropping major keys for them. A hundred. It's fundamental. A hundred. So guys, that's all I wanted to say to you. I hope you guys are inspired. I hope you guys are touched, and I hope you guys, um, you guys' lives have actually changed.